Hello and welcome to another episode of Physical Forever Games. Today I have a short video and I'd like to show you three things. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to re-download content on your 3DS and 2DS consoles. The second part of this video I'll be showing you how to re-download content on your Wii U consoles. And then the third part of this video I would like to uh, go ahead and announce the two winners of the new Mario Brothers movie contest that I announced in my last video. I have these promotional uh, double-sided posters for Mario Day given away by AMC. Uh, this video is not sponsored by AMC. This is coming from my personal collection, but I'm giving out uh, this poster to two winners who entered it uh, by commenting, liking uh, on my last video and also subscribing to my channel. So I'm going to divide this video into its, its parts so that if you're only here for one singular purpose, you don't have to watch the whole video. Uh, but if you would like to li watch the whole video, I always appreciate that. Similarly, if you'd like to like, comment, or subscribe uh, because of this video or some of my other content, I welcome you to do that, and I appreciate when you do. So there's a few reasons that you might need to re-download content on your 3DS or on your Wii U. And now that the eShop is closed, you might be wondering, is this something I can even do? Well, you're in luck. If you downloaded software, um, so this must be digital software, um, and you have removed it from your console for space storage or software corruption purposes, or maybe it got lost whenever you were moving over a console, you will be able to re-download that software as long as is your account is still linked to the same Nintendo I network ID that you have on your console currently. Um, and with that said, I'd like to show you that this process works and I'll actually delete software from both my Wii U and my 3DS to show you that you can not only re-download the software now that the eShops are closed, but also that you'll be able to do that at no cost. Now, I do want to note that re-downloading software may not always be available. At some point in the future, Nintendo or the publishers of these games may no longer make your previous purchases accessible for re-download. And for that reason, I would advise you to go ahead and re-download anything that you want as soon as possible. There's no real reason to wait. Um, but as long as this method works, should something arise whenever you're managing software on a console or you discover something that's not working, you should be able to delete it and re-download it. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in to how this process works. All right, so let's take a look at this process on the 3DS. So first things first, you're gonna go ahead and boot up your 3DS. I will pick a piece of software to delete that I currently own by going into system settings, data management, 3DS, software, I have quite a bit of software so you'll see this is going to go up to 17 pages or so, it's going to take a minute to do that, please stand by. All right, we're gonna go ahead and delete Legend of Kusakari since it's relatively small for the purposes of this video. All right, that's pretty quick, delete it off. Head on back to our home screen Alrighty, Legend of Kusakari that used to live right here is now gone, and I am going to go in the eShop in order to recover that. The eShop now down for downloading any new games, making any new purchases. However, all the things that you've accessed in the past are currently still available to be re-downloaded on the eShop. So fret not should you delete something intentionally or accidentally. We'll come on in here to settings slash other. 
to go to re-downloadable software. Please note you can also check for updates here, but today we're looking at re-downloadable software. And it does show up right here in the re-downloadable software uh, section. Most of these are trailers. If you don't see the game that you're looking for, the software that you're looking for, click on this little below banner, Your Downloads, and it will likely be located here if it wasn't on that first screen. Even something that was located on that first screen, like The Legend of Kusukari, lives here as well. So I'll go ahead and re-download that. And once I get this initiated, um, I will put it on fast forward so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But as you can see, previously purchased items can be re-downloaded at no extra cost. I've previously downloaded this one, so no extra cost to me today. I'll download it now. We'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Alrighty, and then once that's downloaded, you can go back to your home screen to verify. Go ahead and close the eShop. And as you can see, I have a present here. I'll open that live. We got Legend of Kuskari. And I'll open it up just to make sure it's working. Make sure this tutorial did indeed tell you the right way to do this. All right. So yeah, it looks like my save data was not kept because I deleted it. Um, however, the game does boot, and there she is. All right, that's the 3DS procedure for redownloading software. We'll take a look at the Wii U. In order to prove to you that this method does work, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete a piece of software off of my home screen, and then redownload that to show you that a piece of digital content that has already been owned and is attached to the same Nintendo Network ID can be re-downloaded once deleted. So from here we're coming to manage data. This is on my USB storage device. I think we're gonna go ahead and delete Dr. Luigi because that one is small. We'll delete it. Okay. So backing up to the home screen there you guys just have to bear with this is uh, an older console at this point the Wii U is never really fast but as you can see, it takes a long time even to get out of the system menus. Whenever I download the game, I'll probably put this in um, time lapse so that you don't have to watch the whole thing. Anyway, on my home screen, this is where Dr. Luigi lived. It's now gone. So in order to recover that software, put it back on my home screen, I'm going to go ahead and go into the eShop. Let's see if I can win this little game here. Ooh. Did not win that time. Once you're here, because the eShop's down, there's not really much living here. You can click on my menu or press the Y button. I'll press the Y button. And then in here, you can go to your downloads. From your downloads, we're looking at actual software. And this is downloaded title, so obviously Dr. Luigi is no longer on this console. And there it is right there. You can see that there's a couple other titles I've previously downloaded that are not on my console due to space reasons, but I just want to go ahead and put Dr. Luigi back on there. And because I've already paid for this, it is a free download. It's something I already owned. And 
and we'll say continue. So now that's that's going. Um, and I'll go ahead and quit back out to my home screen. You can check on the status of downloads by coming to download management here. I'll go ahead and speed this part up for you. All right, now that that's downloaded and installed, we can come back to our home screen and that will show up here for us momentarily. Just be patient, I assure you, it'll be there. And just to prove to you while well, we've got this thing booted up that this is going to work, I'll go ahead and open Dr. Luigi. So as you can see, I was able to remove the software from my console. I was able to re-download it by going to the eShop, and now it works. So that's it for the Wii U re-download process. All right, that's all there is to it. Now you know how to re-download software on your 2DS or your 3DS console, and you know how to re-download content onto your Wii U console. So with that being said, no further ado, I'll turn to the final part of this video, which is to announce our two winners of the Mario Day double-sided poster. Winner number one is Ryan Haramio, and then our second winner is the Bargain Bin Hobo. So please contact me directly, and I'll get these posters shipped out to you directly. I really appreciate you playing and participating in my channel, and I really look forward to bringing you guys more content and maybe more giveaways in the future. Um, so thank you again for participating. Game Girls and Game Boys, thank you for joining us for another week of Visible Forever Games. I'll see you next week. Until then, you take care.